so hello y'all this will be uh, the last video of the week so hopefully you've been catching up and again I'm giving you sort of two days every um, two days to catch up so since this is Wednesday night you have until Friday to watch this and hopefully you turn this in please um, last thing about related rates so we've done triangles uh, we did circles for those of you in class today we did a, a new one on um, circumference and area of a circle we've done spheres and the last one I want you to learn about is cones because they're the most difficult ones and here's one that has some information that's not necessary. Let me read the example for you. A tank in the shape of a right circular cone is being filled with water at the rate of 13 feet cubed per minute. It also has a small leak in the bottom that is leaking at a rate of 1 feet cubed per minute. The tank has a height of 30 feet, a radius of 15 feet. In order to collect the water that leaks out of the tank, a barrel in the shape of a right circular cylinder is placed below the leak. The barrel has a height of 5 feet and a radius of 3 feet. And we're just going to do this one today. It's letter A. And all, all this is in your notes. Write an expression for the rate of change of the depth of the water at the center of the cone in terms of depth. So step one. So today we practice, for those of you who are here, uh, we're practicing the four steps. First step, I'm going to draw a picture. So i got a tank that's a right circular cone. And I have a barrel underneath that it's sort of leaking into. Now, step two says to fill in my variables. So here's where it gets sort of tricky. See how it says it's being filled with water at the rate of 13 feet per minute, but it's also leaking at one feet per minute, okay? So if it's being filled, um, we're talking about volume, and if it has 13 and it's losing one, that means the total volume change, remember this is a rate since it says per minute, is going to be um, 12. And I won't write units for now because it's hard to type. Here, let's try typing it. Uh, next one, the next thing says it has a height of 30 feet, so height equals 30. And this one says the height of a cone, so I'm going to call it H cone. Uh, let's just call it H equals 30. It has a radius of 15, so I'll call that R. And then um, new about the barrel, it has a, has a different H. The barrel is 5 feet and has a radius of 3 feet. So that's all the information that they give us. Here, I'll type out volume while I'm at it. This is all the information they give us. Step three says to figure out the equation for this. Well, this is a right cylinder cone, so obviously you're going to need the equation for a volume of a cone. So I looked it up for you. It's, and I'll, I'll usually give these, or the AP test will give these to you. The volume of a right cone is um, one-third pi r squared. so hard to write. Okay. And then I have a V prime, so obviously I'm going to derive this. Um, but before I derive this, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Okay. In any cone problem, so I know it's, you're confused, like why am I doing this? But in any cone problem, I need to get this into one variable. You see I have an R and an H. I have, I have too many, I have, and V. I'm like deriving by too many variables. I only want to derive two. And I already have V prime. If I have R and H, so what I'm going to do is I need to consolidate in this into one. For any cone, again, you might be confused where I get this, but every time you see a cone problem, I'm going to change R into H over 2. Because, and that's one of the properties of a, a right cone is that the radius is actually half, half of the, um, ugh, it's actually half of the height. This has been so difficult to draw. All right. So it means the exact same thing as this one, but this gives me a way to get only one variable. And again, some of you are saying, like, how did I get this? Again, this is what you do in every cone problem. Okay. If I simplify this out, if I multiply this, you know, I get h squared, and h squared times h is h to the third. And then I'm multiplying that by pi, and I have this 3 and 2 on the bottom. So now I have... Um, Pi, pi, h to the third over six. Wait a minute. Two squared. Sorry, I'm squaring two, so it's four, and then four times three is twelve. And again, if you don't get this, we could talk about it tomorrow in class. So 
So now I figure out my formula. <coughs> Obviously need v prime. So I'll do this over here. v prime, if I take its derivative, you can think of this as 1 12th pi out in front. So if I multiply, I'm going to get 3 pi over 12. Um, ah, h squared. And since I derived an h, I have to add an h prime. Now, letter A says, and then what's the actual question? It says, find the rate of change in terms of depth. Well, h prime is my rate of change, and h is the terms of um, the depth of the cone. So all they want me to do is to get h prime by itself. You also know that this 3 and 12 can be reduced, right? This can be 1, and this can be 4. So technically, this whole problem, uh, sorry. Technically, this whole problem is h squared h prime over 4. So let's rewrite this new problem. And all I got to do is get h prime by itself. It's supposed to be a pi. Sorry, I don't know why I keep doing this. Please. Oh. Well, this is fun. All right. So all I got to do is, is, is get h prime by itself. I'll make this simple for you. Um, I'll multiply both sides by 4. I will watch this box turn blue all the time. Ah, oh, forget it. I'm just going to type it out. Um, 4. Multiply both sides by 4. So I get instead of pi, let me just put p. Um, h squared. I don't know how to write squared. h squared, h prime, right? And to get h prime by itself, I'll divide both sides by pi h squared. So my answer is going to be 4 v prime um, over, I don't even know how to underline. Yeah, I can't underline. Um, over pi h squared equals h prime. That's all the problem asks for. I'm really sorry that I couldn't draw or it kept on turning blue. I don't know, it worked out pretty well, but technically this is a fraction. Oh my gosh, now it's going crazy. What? I can't even undo that. Let's see. I'll just put that to the side. Um, this fraction is 4, please. cheating here. Well, this is the most entertaining video I've done so far. All right, the answer is 4 v prime over pi h squared. And there's no real number answer because it just wants me to find the, yay, I'm holding on to this fraction bar. Um, the answer is going to be 4 v prime over pi h squared. So in any cone problem, okay, here's a new thing I want you to teach you, is that in any cone problem, you always replace r with h over 2, and that's just the definition of a right cone. So thanks for watching. Um, again, this will be the last of uh, this week, and I'll see you all tomorrow.